This is what we're making. Now, Zach, we're making melty oobleck honey. Kind of like that. It's yeah. kind of like oobleck, and if you don't know what that is, it basically goes from a solid to a liquid, like that, and then it starts like that, whenever it hits the surface. But this isn't oobleck, so it doesn't do a very good thing, but it is, um... It's just kind of melty. Yeah. It's melty. So we're calling it melty oobleck honey, because it's like the... I guess the texture or almost thickness of honey, and it's very simple. It's the, it's the ingredients of it's half the ingredients. Most people still have it then. So it's cornstarch and palm olive. Is that how you say it? Just so I, we use the palm olive. I'm not saying it. And it. Um, because it's that color green, it does create this mint green color, which everyone has noticed. So, what you're going to need is your mixer, is this ingredient, and you're going to need a bowl. A bowl, yes. Yeah. And most likely plastic silverware. Yeah. Plastic silverware, because you don't want to ruin the olive oil bowl. So, sorry that we're moving around, we're just kidding, too bad. So, we're going to... You don't want to use a plate too, you want to like a paper mixer. So, we'll see you in a minute, and bye. So you're going to want to use three tablespoons of cornstarch where we already previously made it. So I'm only going to use like one and a half of cornstarch. And then there's no, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. There's no, we haven't necessarily found a determined amount, but just until it starts getting thick. For the dish soap, and you use a plate or a bowl, either works. Fix that real good. A spoon, a knife, a oh, fork. That's smart. Your hands. Anything really to mix. And yes, I did just use that much dish soap. But you're gonna make you use a lot of dish soap. Yeah, dish soap. You definitely more than three tablespoons of it, most likely. There's, and the more dish soap you have, the wetter it's. Ugh. And when we first made this and experimented with it, it definitely, we did have the issue too dry, too wet. So it does take a while to get the perfect consistency. I'd say the perfect consistency is when it doesn't really stick to your hands that much. It's still going to a little, but not very much, and it doesn't feel wet. You want it to feel dry. You want it to feel like you have powder all over your hands, which isn't necessarily a uh, It should look like this like. when you're done. Yes. And it should be kind of hard. Almost. Not it should be hard, but like thick. It should be chalky on your hands. Yeah. And yes, it does take a while. So we'll see you in a minute. Yep. Yeah, bye. Bye. So this is the first one we did, and here's the one we did. The second trial. And the second trial is a little bit better. Yeah. It's mine. Well, not mine. The first trial is a little crumbly, I say. That one is can hold itself a little bit more. And as you can see. Kind of melts in your hand eventually. You can push a little bit, but it eventually does melt in your hand. That's why we're calling it melt and putty. And it also bonuses as like putty soap because you can like rip off a piece and then like wipe mm -hmm. like it to the piece. But look, see how it just like it looks kind of like when you break it apart, it just comes apart. Silence. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. And why is the audio soft and not better? Oh, <laughs> from my videos. But yeah, my audio is terrible. It's something with my phone. So I'm gonna try to get a mic or something. Yeah. It really does, though. I wish there was smell of it. Here, let's try. <laughs> Better smell. Well, that's always a thing. That smells great. It's not stained. Well, like, um, yeah. We're not in school. Nope. Wait, did you think we were on a hoverboard? Maybe. Because, look, we can't. 